feel obligated to do this. Game. Got him. Anyways, you can blow those up with a grenade. For those of you who don't know that, everybody should know that. All right, right, race. So the flow of this map is entirely based on the power-ups, as is all of the Halo One maps. But this one, it'll slow down in between occasionally. People will camp up in here, which is probably why a lot of people don't like it. But uh, this ramp is a really good spot to chill while you're waiting. This overshield spawns here, and you can try to drop on it. But I'm gonna get to why this is not necessarily the best strat. And a lot of people just hate on this map for no reason. Uh, I mean, this is a good area to chill when they have power-ups. Uh, you get a partner to just come chill up in here and watch Portal. And you hang out in here, because you can fight the camel guy coming fear from here, or back down if it's an OV guy. But, um, pretty much... Alright, so these caves are, like, up above, for those of you who know the map but don't know well. Uh, if you're standing up in here, you spawn your teammate down at shields. Which is right here. Which is commonly known, and you end up spawn fucking them. Uh, if you want to stay up in here, and you know they're through this portal, like right here in this area watching shields and waiting for you to port back because they know you're going to not want to spawn on there uh, <clears throat> you can quickly step to the left side of this portal and just hug in this corner and if you're standing here it'll spawn them up top out here so you don't spawn fuck them it'll put them right here a nice safe spot away from where the other team is up top so that's a nice one to know um, this whole area has slightly different spawn points. If you want to not spawn them shields, because you know they're down there, but you want them to be able to push from that direction, you could quickly run about that far, and instead that will put him down below camo, like right here, which is around the corner from the guys down there, so they won't be able to see him. But then he could then push from that way and surprise them maybe. So you, this is all like mind games. You can get really nerdy with this. Um, you can come over here, and if you're standing by the health pack here, uh, it puts him down near where this other guy is. If you're standing on the health pack, it'll spawn him on this right here. It'll spawn top blue. Uh, so you could put him there when overshield's coming up, because this is a good area to be pushing from. You got some cover here, you got some bunch of grenades you can throw. This is a grenade stash here. Um, sticking with the top area spawns. There's at least one other really good one. So that's health pack area. It'll spawn on top blue. Uh, if you come over here, obviously if you're above the overshield, like right here, you're going to spawn fuck them below you. They're going to spawn right below you. And they're there looking at it, pretty much. But if you come about this far up the ramp, and you hug this left wall here, it will very sneakily tuck him in this corner right here. It'll spawn him in this corner. So he'll spawn like this. So if they're down at overshield, they won't see him. And he can then help you push or clear out the bottom uh, while you can drop on the overshield or whatever. Um, so here's why this map has evolved and become such a great 2v2 map. The top area doesn't get the power-ups like you would think. You'd think they could just drop on them, right? Well, obviously, you can shoot them down. Which I guess I'll just show that. You can shoot the power-ups down. For those of you who didn't know that, that's, I, I was assuming everyone knew that. That's how you get them when you're down below them. You shoot them down, and then you go pick them up. Um, but the reason this map evolved... Alright, good, it's back up. Uh, if you, as long as you have a couple grenades, if this guy's up top here waiting on it, you're just looking at your timer, you know, 10 seconds coming around, you start spamming grenades right here, even like 5 seconds before. If you put your nades right here like this, um, you can't get anywhere near that overshield. And then you can shoot it down. And bottom bottom gets uh, the power up every time. If there's not someone pushing from below also. Like if they're both up in the caves and they don't send anyone down. And you have grenades. The bottom player, the people in this dark room get the overshield every time. So. Then it's evolved to where. oftentimes you gotta watch your flank through this portal. The guy will port back through with maybe 10 seconds left. Hoping that no one's watching the portal. And that you're stacked over here. And he'll try to like catch you with your pants down looking up at the overshield throwing grenades or whatever um, but then obviously people caught onto that so they'll leave one guy like over here watching shields in this port back while the other guy throws nades up to keep the guy from dropping on it um, 
stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people will, you know, with 20 seconds left, they'll push out this way from caves if they know they're not coming in, or assuming they're not coming in, and they'll send a guy down blue ramp to get another angle to keep him off from below without having to port back. So then they'll come over here and try to get the guy off down low, so that his teammate can get the overshield. You can also grenade this down, by the way, if you, if a nade lands below it, it pops it down, which you don't usually do that on purpose, you'll just shoot it. But it'll get nated down sometimes on its own. And you'll get in these battles where the O shield's down and they're pushing from there and you're pushing from here and you're both trying to nade each other while nading it closer to you. And there's just a lot of teamwork and coordination with this map, which is why I love it. Um, want grenades. Hi, Banjo. I'm gonna explain this random down here while I get grenades. There's a random spawn. I think it's 100%. I thought it was in the middle of this wall too. Not really spawn. I think it's right here. If you just stand here. I don't use it very often. My friends use it all the time. I just don't bother. Uh, but this is a random. It's like the only random on the map. So you could use that and get nerdy with it. If your teammate's on spawn. You want to try to hope he gets a good spawn somewhere on the other side of the map. So that you can flank. Um, even camo if it's coming up. You know, you can be banking grenades. Keep the guy up top from getting it. There's more frags right here. You always want to throw nades. This is just a pro tip. Uh, when you're camo. Because shooting lights you up, but in Halo 1 throwing grenades does not. And grenades in Halo 1 are really powerful, and you can pin them in corners and throw sliders where it's like you slide it and it blows up instantly, like that. Uh, but you don't light up when you throw a grenade. Like, they'll see the grenade coming and they'll, like, maybe see you, but camo is really hard to, to light up and see in general, especially on a dark map like this. But you just want to whore the hell out of the frag grenades uh, on this map with the camo, and you can do a lot of damage with it. Um, oh, Banjo's playing. <laughs> you looking at the ceiling there, bud? Yeah. Um. That's about it for Rat Race. Oh, I was going to show you. Can need can need camo back up, which is used pretty often, so I guess I should show you that. Technically, you can need overshield back up. I never do this. Let me see if I can do this. I just want to impress myself. Muzzy was doing this. I don't know if you guys know Muzzy. He's a good Halo 1 player, but... Uh, I think it's if you bank a grenade there, and then nade here. Is that not high enough? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> See, the first one pops it up, and then the second one pops it to you. Uh, if you're playing good players, you'll never be able to do that. Or almost never, because they'll have a guy nading up from down below. We're shooting it down right away. Give me your <laughs> Alright, nading camelback's easy. Uh, I think you can do it from any side. I always do it from this side. Uh, you just put it in a corner, and then you come and crouch right here. <laughs> I say it's easy, and I choke. But you just come and crouch right here when you nade it. And you can just snag it in quick camo. And try not to hit yourself with a grenade. Trust me, it's easy. I'm just not trying right now. Made it look bad. And I think that's Rat Race. It's about all she wrote. For rat Race. Derelict. I'm going to run another ad. This is the last map I'm going to do for now, guys. 
then I don't know what I'm going to do if this is not up. <laughs> Might just turn the stream off and get back on when this is up. Everybody learning stuff? Are we all learning? Alright, you guys are going to all have a test on this next week, so... Team Make sure you're taking notes. Just making sure. Derelict! You get pretty nerdy on this map. I actually feel like I need to step up my nerdiness on this map. I know how to play the map, I know that obviously I'm really good at it. Um, pretty much just need to work on my camo nades on this map. You can get nerdy with camo nades. Um, the spawns on this map are really important. I'll try to go over those briefly. You need to know a lot of the good top spawns. So we'll go over the spawns real quick first. This map is one of... A lot of people hate on it. A lot of noobs hate on it. They think it's a lopsided map. Uh, and that's just because they need to step up their nerdiness. Nerdy wins games on Derelict. Uh, top is just so... Everything, everything good is up top. Uh, you got the camo up top, you got the overshoulder up top, and you got the rockets up top, and they're all on a low spawn timer. The camo and the overshoulder are up every minute, and the rockets are spawn. The rockets are in this rocket cave over here, rocket cubby, and they respawn every 30 seconds. So it's like pretty much infinite rockets run power-ups and the other team will spawn up top occasionally but it's out in the open there's not a whole lot of good spawns they're either down low or they're spawning out in the open pretty much uh, so a lot of people think it's uneven just because once the other team gets control if they're any good and the other team doesn't know how to break setups then they just whine about the map but that's not the case and I'm gonna show you some tricks that will help you get top control back and whatnot so, uh, obviously there's a lot of spawns that will put your guy, up, your teammate up top. You don't want to be doing them if they're looking at you, for the most part. So, for instance, where this guy happened to spawn is a spawn point to spawn his teammate up, if he had a teammate. Uh, it'll put his teammate directly above by camo. Uh, but, for example, if I'm up top here and I just killed your teammate right there and then I, you're looking at me and you go and stand right there, that's not good. Like, one, I'm going to kill you, or two, I'm just going to back up, kill your teammate, then kill you. You know, like, you only want to do it when you think they haven't seen you, and try to sneakily put your teammate up top, and then give him whatever f cover fire you can from below while trying to get to a portal. There's two portals to get top. Uh, so that's one. That'll put him right there. If you slide across the wall below the bridge, uh, that'll put him up up top as well, uh, further back, which is probably a better one. Uh, it's out in the open, kind of, but it's back by the cubby there. You'll put them up over there if you're below the bridge. Um, below the bridge is works pretty much everywhere. If you stand down here on that spawn point, there's a spawn point right there, but if you stand right there, it'll spawn them up here at the portal, right here, which is okay. Um, not ideal if you get to choose, but if he happens to be spawning while you're down there, you can, and you don't want to put him down, you can put him up. Uh, the, the absolute best way, in my opinion, other than nading camo down to get top control back is uh, the portal strat. And it's the old... A lot, a lot of good players don't understand this. And I feel like I can mentally break it down for you guys, but this is how it works. Uh, there's a lot of spawn points above the bottoms of the portals. Like, you can spawn them up on that side of the cubby. Or you can spawn them right here. Or you could, sometimes it'll spawn them right there. If you're like on this side of the portal. But anywhere along this wall by the portal, like right here, or over here, uh, will spawn your teammate up. And now even if there's an overshield guy top middle, 
and you know your teammate's probably gonna get fucked putting him up top, this is your best bet. Because as long as he's not like camo rocket overshield, even if he is, you want one of you is gonna have to die to try to get him to light himself up or to try to light him up. But uh, your best bet here is you stand by the bottom of the portal when your teammate's spawning, and then as your teammate spawns, right when he spawns, you swoop into the portal. And what that does is your teammate spawns. The portals are staggered, so that puts me all the way over here from down there. Your teammate will spawn like right here. So he's up top right as you're porting over here. So even if there's an overshield guy top middle, say he's right here, he's got two guys up top all of a sudden, both at the same time, separated. So he can't fight both of them pretty much or angle from both of them. And that works with both sides. So over here by this portal, same thing. If you stand down here, you can spawn him up out in front of the portal. You stand like right here below the bridge. Um, but along the walls by the portals is your best bet. Uh, like right here, or right here. And then swoop in right as he spawns. And then he's up top over there, and you're up top right here, and you got two people that can try to make a play to melt the overshield guy and get top back. So that's like your best bet for getting top back. That's just like, you can always do it. You don't need to line up nerd nades. Um... You know, worst case, you both just hit the portal and die, and then you're on a fresh spawn, and you might spawn up top anyways. You know, like, uh, you just, you're going to want to not let them stack power-ups, though. So you're going to want to try to constantly make plays to get top back uh, instead of just hiding down low the whole time. If you're hiding down low, you're pretty much never going to get top back because you're just letting them get more power-ups. You might eventually get his overshield down 50 seconds into it, but then 10 seconds later, he's got a fresh one. You know, so it's... You really have to try to make plays on this map. Um, <coughs> another thing you can do, which top players do it all the time, but this is a timing thing and, a, and an awareness thing. You need to know basically when and where to do this, but you can do it from anywhere around the outside of bo bottom middle. Uh, you can nade jump up to get the overshield. Obviously, you put yourself no shields, low health, so you're like essentially a one shot. Uh, until you get the overshield if you can grab it if you can make it there but basically you either need a teammate that is distracting them say you get a random to here while he's fighting somewhere somehow you just randomly spawn here or maybe say your teammate just killed one your teammates down low but maybe I'll pistol one up top and you know the other guy is across up top like over there I don't know why I threw a nade like over there uh, where he can't see you uh, you can nade jump up and it's just the timing thing and then swoop in here and grab the overshield. Because he won't be able to see you as you may jump up. And then just pray to God that you can get to the overshield pretty much. But, I mean, it works more often than you would think. Uh, it's just a matter of you don't want to do it when they're looking and everything. So That's nading up. You can jump and grab the sniper from below. I already have one, so... That's standard as well. Um, this is often used if you stand on the health pack, bottom middle, when your teammate's spawning. It's a random. So if you're around bottom middle, and you don't have time to get to a wall to try to spawn them up or something, you'll usually just come here, and when you're playing good players, you're probably going to be getting shot at, because they're going to know you're trying to random your teammate. And it's kind of out in the open. But still, worst case, you die and you both get a random. Is the concept behind that. Which is better than them... Better than you, you standing right here and your teammates spawning right there and then you, you both get blown up by rock. So, random spawn bottom middle. And then the only other real nerdy stuff is with the camo. Uh, you can come up with so many different camo nades. I didn't even really have good ones. I've been working on it. And I just sort of improvise it. But the best ones you can throw, there's some players that are really good at these and I need to work on these myself admittedly but uh the best ones you can throw is a double grenade i'm gonna try to do this uh you throw the first one up high off the wall off the ceiling and then it slides down the wall right behind it basically and it takes a while so you throw the first one up high and then you quickly throw the other one in the cubby you can do it from the other side as well over here so first one would go up high second one in the corner like in the cubby so i'll show you how that works um, first one up top, second one up over there. I think my timing's off. 
either way, timing off or not, at least it comes down, you know. But if you do it, if you do it well, like if you get get good at it and film both to where they blow up at the same time, like that one would have been good. Uh, the camel comes flying and it lands way over here, like under the bridge. And a lot of times they're either top middle or they're like up on the sides here. So that's like best case scenario. They have to drop down to get an angle on you, or you can quickly grab the camel and actually you will have a assault rifle when you can just. Quick cam and get away. Let's see if I can get a good one for you to show you guys what I mean by literally it goes flying. This is like the best camo nades. This is the double one where you throw one off the ceiling, one off the one in the cubby. Just waiting on some camo. Alright, so I'm lean forward to see if I can get this. <coughs> I haven't done this in a while. I haven't landed in a while or anything. I'm trashing now. You know, worst case, you get it down with the two nades every time. Uh, you can't really get it down with one nade unless you throw like a high plasma on the ceiling or something. So either way, you're throwing two nades. I used to just, I used to just come stand like right here and put one in that cubby and one in that cubby, and that'll get it down with two nades every time. If you fuck it up and it's on the edge, you just improvise, throw a third grenade, and it works. We're gonna wait until I can do this properly, so you guys can comprehend how great it is. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see if I remember that I do this. Double nade from down there. You can nade the overshield through the floor. I got pretty close. Like it squirts into here and falls through somehow. I don't remember the exact lineup for that. Anyways, not viable. You guys can mess with that if you want. That should be good. No! See, I suck. This is why I need practice on it. Mystic can do it every time. It's one of the players I land with. One of the top five players in the game. Um, I know Doughboy. He's also probably top 15, top 10 player in the game. He's really nerdy with nades, and especially on this map, it's his favorite map, I think. But he's never. <laughs> he's kind of a goof, though. But he like almost never even goes up top just so he can just nerd nade the camo down. And he'll just send that shit fucking flying over here. And it's really annoying when you're the guy top middle and you see these nades coming up. Uh, a lot of the guys can nade it down from like over here too. Or like, I don't know if they nade it down from here or they just guess. I'm pretty sure Doughboy can do it from over here. So he can like spawn his teammate up while he's like nerd nading the camo down. Anyways, I might give up on this because they suck. Give it one more try. I admittedly need to work on my camo grenade, because that's like, it's like the ultimate camo grenade on this map, is when you can launch it. I'll blame it on not landing for a while, because I was doing that at the beach lane. I just like, I need to reteach myself, I forgot how to do it. Um, this is another one I use, no one else uses this, it's a homemade rocket grenade. Where is it? It's over here by Snipe. Rockets every 30 seconds, so you gotta pay close attention to your timer for this. It's probably gonna reset on me, because I don't have a timer going. But you get in this little, this little shield here, the little, stand, little kickstand. And you wedge into the crouch and wedge into the kickstand with a pistol. You see this corner right here, you look straight out from it, you see this first little f symbol. You see the, the dark gray part? 
You just aim on the right side of that dark gray part, a little bone looking thing, I don't know. It's like right there. And then you run straight over here, and you catch it down, and it lands down here. If it doesn't reset, yeah. So you can get rockets on the bottom, which is pretty nerdy. That's actually not that hard to pull off a lot of the time. But then you can just snoop around bottom middle, and if the overshow guy peeks here or something, or is walking along the outside, you just blow him up, you know, and then they're like, oh, he's got rockets on the bottom, or he goes for camo, and you're just like chilling, lurking down here, and they go for camo, and you rocket them. So that one, that one's a homemade rocket grenade, and I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anyone else need rockets to the bottom, like even to this day. I've been doing that one for like eight years. I don't know if they don't think it's viable or whatnot, but it's been working for me. It's just, you don't want to try to do that every time. That's just basically, if you get stuck over there, you usually want to try to nade camo down or keep them off camo. Um, that's more important than getting rocket on the bottom, but... A lot of time when you get rocket on the bottom, you end up just getting rocketed from up top anyways, so... It doesn't do much, but sometimes it works. Figured I would show you guys that one. Uh, other than that, other spawn points under the bridges, so this is snipe side of the map. Uh, you can spawn them up by the cubby over here by sniper, which is rockets. Uh, if you stand, obviously, by the portal on the wall, like I said. Or if you stand up right here under the bridge, you'll put them up by the cubby. And then just like camo side, you know, it's somewhat symmetrical. You can put them right here next to the sniper. But this one's finicky. A lot of people whine about it. Um, but I figured out how to perfect it, get it work every time. But if you stand here, they'll often like just spawn like in you, or like still down here. Like the exact spawn point's hard to stand on. But if you're just anywhere in this area, if you jump and crouch or whatever, right as your teammate's spawning, uh, it'll put them up top every time, just because you're closer to that spawn point then, so the game doesn't get confused or whatever. Uh, just some nerdy nades you can do. Also, this has like a slight slant to it. You can bank nades up off that. Y'all's gonna be throwing nades top. You can like land them on those bridges. Because of the slant. So, that's about it. There looks pretty simple. Get up top, or nade camo down. Or use the portal strat. If you can't seem to get anything going for you power up wise, just constantly. You don't wanna be pressuring up top, try to spawn your teammate up top, swoop through the portal, stuff like that. That's uh, that's about it. Masingno is in my chat. Give you op, bro. So people can see what you're saying easier. And then you can ban people for being noobs. Missing note.